In this demonstration, we explore the regular language description for XML Core New Generation or RelaxNG Schema Designer in Stylus Studio. RelaxNG is pronounced relaxing. Let's start creating a new relaxing schema for modeling a library of books. The schema editor has three areas. The visual designer at the top, the text editor at the bottom, and the property window that shows the details of what is currently selected. We can now save our newly created schema as library RNG and continue. First, we are going to create a definition for the library element. Clicking the right button or using the window menu key on the diagram route triggers the context menu, on which the first command is add. We want to add a new define element. A new visual element appears on the canvas with a default name. We then enter in edit mode pressing the spacebar to change its name to Element Library. We continue adding a new Element Library. Then, we want to model a list of at least one book. For this purpose, we use the one or more element to which we add a reference to the global definition Element Book, which does not exist yet. Next, we add a start element, which represents the entry point in our schema and the root of the XML documents we want to validate. The start element has a single reference to the element library definition. The schema editor allows navigating any definition by clicking on the plus sign. We move the start element at the beginning of the schema so it's easy to read. Let's continue creating the definition for book, which has an element named book with two attributes. ID and available to indicate if the book is available for renting. Notice that the selection in the diagram is synchronized with the underlying text editor. The blue marker in the gutter area indicates in which line the definition is located. We want to add two additional references for element ISBN and element title. And indicate that a book may have one or more authors. We continue creating a definition for element author, which has ID, name, born, and an optional element 
die in case the author is no longer alive. For now, all author elements have a simple text pattern, which allows any type of text as value. At this point, we want to verify if our schema is valid so far. For that, we simply click on the Validate Document button. It looks like we may have forgotten to declare the definitions for ISBN and title. Let's fix that. Now our schema is valid. In order to make a schema reusable, we have to break it into separate components, which can be included by multiple schemas. Let's say that we want to extract the element author definition and place it in its own separate schema. We click the right button and click Cut. Then we create a new relaxing schema and we paste on the schema root. Then we save the document as author RNG. We then go back to the main schema and we add an include statement this time using the text editor as an alternative approach. Notice that the autocomplete suggests the correct elements based on the context where the cursor is located. Then we set the href attribute value to the schema file name we want to include. The diagram automatically synchronized after our edits with the new include definition. A reference to an external schema can still be navigated using the plus sign. In addition, we can either load the foreign definition or navigate to the included schema. The schema now is equivalent to the one we had before, but can be reused for building larger collections of schemas. This concludes our demonstration on the Stylus Studio Relaxing Schema Editor. For more tutorials, please visit stylusstudio.com.